Hi, welcome back all of you, Nana here. And then uh, my next training on SCM basics point for seven topics is now beginning on 13th of July, 2024. And then it will now run for approximately five weekends, actually. And in this uh, video, we are going to see about what you will get in this training, actually. I will not share my screen now. So here you go there, and then on the URL, you write oraclenona.com, right? and then slash SEM basics. Right? Here, S is capital, so C is capital, and then M is capital, and then similarly, B is also capital. So if you write it, what happens? You will now find out my URL for this training, actually. oraclenona.com slash SEM basics, the one, fine entry. So we are going to begin our activity on the miscellaneous result counting. So here, uh, what I will do is I will now uh, create a new user and then create a new inventory orgs, master and child dogs, and then uh, perform a miscellaneous result and then perform an accounting where in the inventory valuation, the offset will be told to you. And then apart from that, what happens, I will now create one more item and then I will now, uh, here it will be a demonstrated on average costing actually. And then I will now create one more item and then that will be on a standard costing. That will be explained. And then afterwards, the third item will be on a first in, first out costing actually. So all the three accounting methods will be explained apart from the miscellaneous result accounting when everything will be done. And then afterwards, we jump into purchasing accounting. In the purchasing accounting, what I will do is I will now show you the receipt accounting along with the reconciliation actually, and then the cost accounting. So receipt accounting, reconciliation, then cost accounting, everything will be clear. And then afterwards, in the interrog accounting, we have got four topics actually. So one is an interrog accounting, the basic accounting plan is a very tough one actually. If you go there and then have a look at it, find out that. So if you go to my, uh, what happens to my directory, you will now find one SCM documentation there. If you open it up, find double click on open it up, and then you will now find one fusion inventory documentation. Right? The, all the four documentation are available here now. And open up the inventory documentation. Here you will now find one intra accounting trade events now. IoT trade events accounting entry is the one fine. If you double click on it, it will be fully explained. Double click on it. <clears throat> So go there. So when you perform what happens, the receipt on the destination or these mapping sets are going to be affected actually. And then these are the accounting entries will be happening during result actually. And then once when you perform the cost accounting, what happens? This is, these mapping sets are going to be accounted. And then these are the accounting entries actually. Right? These are accounting entries are. And then each and every accounting entries is now fully explained on this now fine. There are three types of accounts. One is the real account, nominal account, and personal accounts. Fine, go there. So in this one, the trade events and accounting entries are fully explained for all the activities actually. What exactly happens with this? So it's a very exhaustive one, and then you will understand everything on the accounting or the intro accounting. <clears throat> so on the intro accounting, you learn a lot actually. And then afterwards, I will now jump into transfer orders. No fine. So when you're performing a transfer order between two orgs of the same BU, actually, and across BU, I'm not aware because for which whatever you need no uh, in financial orchestration, but within the same BU, whatever the transfer order will be explained. The advantage of a transfer order is what you're going to allocate the material on the source. Material gets allocated. In IoT, we don't allocate a material, whereas in a transfer order, we can very well allocate the material. So how to allocate will be fully taught, actually. But then afterwards, the return of a transfer order will be explained. And then there is one more concept called inter-submitted transfer orders. There is a third topic. And then there is one more topic, fourth topic called what? Whenever you want to have an approval for the transfer orders, whenever you want to move material between two orgs, if the end client wants an approval, then it will be inter internal requisition transfer orders. Right? Internal requisition transfer orders. That will also be fully explained. So there are four topics on this now, fine. Everything will be fully explained, actually. <clears throat> then afterwards, the self-service procurement is a, one of the, what's called your uh, pillar, actually. And then of a purchasing. And then sourcing is another pillar. And then procurement contracts is another pillar. So three pillars of uh, procurement are fully covered, actually. Three pillars of procurement are fully covered. So this is the essence of a SCM basic seven topics, actually. <clears throat> and then it is uh, very economically priced. And then you won't find that at such a price, basically. And then it begins on Saturday on 13th of July. On 13th of July. And then uh, it will be from 6 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. India, Indian time, actually. You put your uh, India time on the browser. You will now find the offset. If you are Romania, <clears throat> fine. you can put the India time in the browser and then find out what is your offset for the Indian time, actually. It is uh, expected to go for five weekends, not fine. If required, it may even go beyond also. So the course fee is very nominal. And then uh, these are the exclusions, actually. I'm yet to learn the responsive self-service procurement. It is now going to come from uh, January 25 onwards. I'm not yet learned, actually. The punch outs and transparent punch outs needs a common e commerce gateway. So, I'm not also aware of it. So, these are the three exclusions in my training actually. And then, if you have still some expectations, you can talk to me before you register for the training actually. Find this is my number, this is my mail ID. And then go there. Fine. So, you can even make a payment via UPA gateway actually. Fine. This is a UPA ID. So, through the UPA gate, you can do it now. Fine. And then, afterwards, you can even register my bank account and one of the banks and then you can pay. Or otherwise, you can even use my what's called the payment gateway actually. <clears throat> so, there you can even pay via. Credit card and debit card and all. 
fine. And then uh, once when the payment is made, you send a screenshot to me and then wait for my con confirmation that you're registered now because I will not restrict it to 100 participants now, basically. And then if it crosses, I will not be registering you. Fine, wait for my confirmation. And then if you're outside India, you can pay via PayPal. The PayPal uh, charges 18% GST, and so it's slightly high when compared to the normal course fee, actually. Fine, it's slightly costly. And then uh, in the bottom, whatever you can now see the complete agenda of the training, actually. Fine, is one of seven. And then uh, two of seven, like that, everything is there, actually. And then in this place, if you go on and see this, no fine. If you go to the ACM documentation, I've got what happens over there. And then see the ACM basic records, no fine. Whether if you right click and then see the what happens, there, this thing, fine. If you go to the properties, no fine, click on the properties, it is approximately 30 GB in size, actually. Fine, 30 GB in size. It covers all the basics of all the modules, actually. When you open it up, basic records and the efficient inventory basics, fine. If you open it up, what happens, there, the setups are fully taught and then the controls are also fully done in this way. Fine, up to 11. So, serial control, lot control, revision control, locator control, material status control, all the controls are not. The basics are not covering everything. And then, if you go to the procurement basics, no fine, so it will now teach you about how to create an enterprise structure actually, and then inventory setups, and then the PO setups also. So, up there. So, likewise, what happens, the basics are fully covered for the, for the inventory, the PDH, the procurement, the order management, the technical ZDF, and then integration clouds, project portfolio management, role customization basics, certain things are covered. And then the uh, global intercompany segment, fine, and the financial side is also covered. So, it's approximately 30 GB in size. And then, if you feel that what happens, you want to know the full one. So, what you can do is you can buy my classroom records, actually. If you go there. What you can do is you can go there. You can go to uh, this navigation, actually, fine, Oracle nana.com and then slash INVPO, not ACM basics. Fine. You put INVPO, fine. INVPO if you go there. So here I am now selling my full classroom records actually. Fine. The inventory full is now short. Fine. Let me lay what happened. There are some around eight sales are there actually. Mm -hmm. Eight sales are there. So whichever is of interest you can buy and then you can now pay, make a payment via UPA or otherwise through the payment gateways that you can pay now. And then you can also pay via PayPal actually. And then they will now cover the full modules actually. There is one uh, coupled module actually. Fine. Recently, I conducted one Fusion OM plus PDH. Now, fine. That is available for 3,500 actually. If you buy it individually, you have to pay 4,500. But this coupled one will now cost you only less now actually. So you decide and then you can buy. Fine. For full ones. If uh, what happens, the basics is not meeting your needs actually. Fine. Go there. So all the basic records are not meeting your records. Fine. So ACM basic records. Fine. So inventory basics, PDH basics, all the basics are there. If they are not there, then what happens? You can even buy. So we have one uh, 21 module record is there. Fine, it covers everything. Fine, all the things, whatever is there available with me. Everything is available for 9,000. There is a link here now. Fine, if you click on that link, what happens? You cannot see what are all the things which are covered in the 21. 13 are mine actually. So I, this is my records actually. These 13 are mine. And then uh, what happens? If you go down and then see there are eight which are now given by my students actually. So for which I don't have any documentation. Only records are available for this. <clears throat> fine, only records are available. So you can uh, get uh, benefited by all these things now, fine. Whichever way you want, you can do it now, actually. And then you can buy at this place, actually. <clears throat> so this training is really very exhaustive. And then uh, five weeks, you will now understand the full basics, basically. So by which you will now become proficient or also. You can even pass on my, what happens, uh, my, this thing now, fine. Uh, uh, my uh, website, actually, fine. It is oraclenona.com, SCM basics, the one. So SCM basics. Pass it on to your friends, and then they will get benefited by this. <clears throat> it's for five weekends, no fine. So bye for now, and then we will now meet on the training itself. If you have any clarifications, you can write to me or talk to me, and then get it clarified. Fine. It is beginning on 13th of July, Saturday. It is on weekends only, on, between 6 p.m. and 9.30 p.m. Bye for now.